With that in mind, would Mr. John Hatch come to the stage, please? John Hatch is the all-time leading scorer in St. Evex basketball history with 2,968 points in just four seasons. The Brown underneath the hat, he's driving it, puts it up, and in. He holds the X-Men record for most rebounds in a single season and most rebounds in a single game, and is second in all-time rebounding at St. Fx. John's freshman year, um, he was awarded Rookie of the Year for the league, well-deserving. In the three subsequent years, he was MVP of the league, and I don't know if that's ever been done before or since, so quite an accomplishment. In 1981, Hatch helped take his team to the AUS Conference Championship. He was, um, from day one, the, the hardest worker on the team. He used to spend hours and hours after practice working on his uh, individual game, and uh, he turned out to be a tremendous basketball player. Hatch was the only X-Men player to be a three-time CIS All-Canadian, and he won gold with Canada at the 1983 World University Games. He played with Team Canada at the 84 and 88 Olympic Games. From there, he went pro, playing in Switzerland for seven years. It's no question, Hatch's career has certainly been a slam dunk. And tonight, we induct him into the Nova Scotia Sport Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, to present the, the plaque to Mr. Hatch, a Hall of Fame member and Nova Scotia and Canadian curling champion, Penny LaRock, and to present the pin, a Nova Scotia Sport Hall of Fame inductee and longtime men's basketball coach, John's former coach at St. of X, Mr. Steve Konchelski. He ain't getting down. First of all, I think you, you have the record tonight for most miles traveled to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. For people who don't know, tell us where you came from to be here tonight. Uh, from Zurich, Switzerland, actually. Right. <laughs> yeah. What was the, the sequence of events from X to take you to Zurich and then back to here? Well, after X, actually, I had um, this, we had just finished the Olympics in 84, and uh, it was very successful. It was a great, great experience, and I had applied to um, law school at Dalhousie. But I decided to take a year off and go to Switzerland to, uh, to play and coach basketball. And uh, with Steve and the national team, there was an opportunity to continue th with the same group of guys through to 88. So I had to stay active. And so I put actually law school off for a couple of years, even though I really had the idea at first to come back to, to the housing and go, and go to law school here. Then I met my wife and things changed. She's from Lausanne. And I decided that uh, I enjoyed it overseas and I did an MBA in Lausanne and then ended up uh, just spending my whole professional career after sports in, uh, in Switzerland. But the, uh, the Nova Scotia roots obviously burn deep within you because tell us about your kids. Yes, well, we've got uh, four children, uh, two of which have uh, actually come to Canada for university. Shannon, who's at uh, St. of X in her second year. And so we're, we're starting to uh, move back this way. And uh, well, actually, we've, we've actually just uh, had the pleasure of buying a home in uh, Cape George uh, and a summer home last, last year. So uh, my wife from Switzerland is enjoying Nova Scotia as well. So Listen, we, we saw Steve up here. Can you tell me what it meant to you in these very formative years to have two guys like Konchalski here and Donahue with the national team as your mentors? Well, it was, it was great, great. You know, I, I, realized, I didn't realize that at the time when I came, came to university at uh, St. Evex that that was going to be an opportunity to be with Steve, both at university and also with the national team. And he and, and Coach D were an incredible pair because uh, uh, Donahue was the front guy and, uh, and Konchalski did all the work behind the scenes. And, uh, and in fact, we played against many international players that even after Donahue had seen them for years and years, he didn't know their names. Steve would uh, sort of prop, 
prompt, prompt him and saying, you know, that was Oscar Schmidt we played against, you know, you remember that? So no, it was, it was marvelous to have, a, and my timing was marvelous because that was really one of Canada's best teams. And between 84 and 88, we kept the same nucleus together and played with a great coaching staff. And so it was just outstanding. You know, the X years are, are a long time ago now, but do you have a sort of a dominant memory that carries through to this day? It was really a kind of a family team, you know, and we had great support and people from X have come out tonight in numbers to, to support us and that was the kind of spirit we had. So uh, Steve uh, took care of the players on and off the court and, and, and we stuck together as a group. We would have liked to have won a few more championships. We, uh, we had great rivalries against uh, Katie and St. Mary's and those were, were years where it was, it was just vibrant to be in the gym and uh, to live all those weekend uh, rivalries. So. Uh, I would say it was really the, comp the team camaraderie. And it was great to be uh, inducted with teams tonight too because that's what it's all about, you know. It's, uh, and, and when I look back at it, it's really the guys I played with and, uh, and all those, uh, those great experiences, the wins and the losses. You know what's cool tonight too? Your, your kids are here, your wife is here, and your mom and dad are here, right? That's right. Yeah, from where? Mom and dad came from Calgary, and uh, we got the kids off of school this week from, uh, from their school, so they were able to come and visit uh, Shannon at the university and, and, and spend the week here in, in Canada. So it's great. And here's the bonus, an engagement photo with Penny LaRock. Who knew that was going to happen? <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen. Penny, my, wife, my, my family will be very impressed because it's a family of curlers. So, uh, so and I, I, though I didn't curl, I, they were all very good, both on and off the ice when curling. I know there's a lot of things happening after the, after the events. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, another story for another time. Folks, here he is, John Hash, new member of the Nova Scotia Sport Hall of Fame.